find the mummy. Don't worry, the mummy will find you. You'll howl as you follow Bud and Lou in a strange land where exotic dancers perform ancient rituals. You'll scream at this mystic world of mad magic and uproarious adventure. Does this mean anything to you? It means death to whoever holds it. Starring Bud Abbott and Lou Costello, with sultry Marie Windsor giving you your first look inside Costello. Turn off the lights. Let's stop fooling and cut them open. And Peggy King, George Goebel's TV girlfriend. You blew in from the Middle West and certainly impressed the population here about. Imagine Lou trying to be charming to a snake. And Bud at the end of his rope. Stop blowing! Your nerves will jangle as they tangle with terror, meddle with murder. Try to elude a curse 4,000 years old. I was sitting around here! I get rid of it! No! No! What is it? Dynamite! to scientifically study a creature that, by all the laws of nature, should have died a quarter of a million years ago. They dared to bring him back alive from his haunts deep in the jungles of the Amazon. They dared to put him on display with the other denizens of the deep while thousands came to marvel and wonder. You know, I, I pity him sometimes. He's so alone, the only one of his kind in the world. If anything goes wrong, you head straight for the surface, you understand? All right, let's go. They dared to study him, to probe him, to tempt him with the lure of a woman's beauty, thinking that mere chains could hold in check the primeval forces that surged and roiled within this strange being from the dawn of time. Hey, look, he broke the chain!
there's no doubt about it, they're having a ball, and you're all invited. Humphrey Bogart and William Holden as the two wealthiest brothers in America, and captivating Audrey Hepburn as Sabrina, the chauffeur's daughter, who ran away to Paris to learn about life and came back home to live it in a great big way. It's Sabrina. Isn't it amazing? Would you have recognized her? How do you like those legs now? David. Aren't they something? David. The last pair of legs that was something cost the family $25,000. Bill Holden stands his engagement party on its ear when he shows up with Sabrina instead of his fiancée. Oh, Sabrina, Sabrina, where have you been all my life? Right over the garage. And when Humphrey Bogart kisses her in the moonlight, look what happens to him. It's all in the family. She's got them both in a spin, but only one can win. And even the board of directors can't head off the explosion when these two meet head on. Now, how about that, gentlemen? That's enough, David. Well, I thought it was common knowledge about you and Sabrina. <laughs> He is our prisoner. So are the rest of you. Gary Cooper and Bert Lancaster the quiet man, and the gunslinger, fighting side by side, and each other. Denise Darcel, alluring, free with a kiss or a caress. Father, you're born American, but at heart you're French. And Cesar Romero, was he friend or enemy? And introducing an exciting new screen discovery, Sarita Montiel, temptress and tease, who entices Gary Cooper into her web of intrigue. Vera Cruz, filmed entirely in Mexico. A motion picture that stands alone in its breathless excitement. Vera Cruz, unique in the annals of screen entertainment. Each one of those six boxes contains half a million dollars in gold. How do we know we can trust you? How do I know I can trust you? Countess, you're beginning to talk my language. Gold-hungry adventurers, palaces, and kings. Tied up with the wrong outfit. entertainment tradition of the great books that have become memorable motion pictures. We are proud and privileged to present Warner Brothers dramatization of another important novel. World acclaimed for the boldness, the eloquence, the power that bursts from its explosive pages.
matters this day, this minute. So I'm here for two weeks, then I'm gone. Kathy, I may never come back. Remember that. You think I'm a tramp, don't you, Danny? What is it that makes a woman go on loving a man that she can't even claim belongs to her? I know that when you came back, that there was nothing I could ever deny you. What do you take me for? You're not different than any other girl. What have you been doing with the Marines in town? No man has a girl back home when he's talking to a girl in San Diego. Yes, these are the kinds of people you get to know when you're soldier with the Corps. Me, I'm Mac, top kick of this outfit. Sort of a mother hen and a father confessor to a bunch of guys named Joe. I've heard of him from San Diego's brawling joints to Honolulu's waterfront dives. And I've watched him win their fights the hard way and their girls the easy way. I've seen a boy become a man in a moment of battle. And I've watched kids who got the rough end of a romance go off the deep end, just to forget. I've seen wives too lonely for their own good. The wrong kind of girl who finds the right guy too late. The woman who tries to run out on every rule because time's running out for her man. You've given him his place in life. You can't let him betray himself now. Betray him to what? What would you like, please? I'd like a cup of joe and uh, one of them there crumpet things. My name is uh, Andy Hookins. I didn't catch yours. I didn't throw it. You can't score with that one, buddy. You just move over about four stools and give me some operating room. Did you ever have fun? I have everything I want, Andy. I had nothing before I met my husband. The star is born, and in its splendor and deep emotional fire, in its shining beauty and wonderful heart, a new era in motion picture achievement is also born. You'll see it in the richness and magnificence so lavishly poured into every scene. You'll feel it in the countless moments of deep human understanding. You'll hear it in the rousing tempo of its great music. And you'll know it when you experience the joy and jubilation of Judy Garland as the star. And you'll never forget James Mason as Norman Maine, clinging desperately to the only real love he'd ever known. There's Jack Carson, Charles Bickford, all bringing inspired life to a story that only life itself could have inspired. You don't know what it's like to see somebody you love crumble away in front of your eyes bit by bit day by day. 
I, I hate myself because I failed to. You got it, just like you dreamed it. Oh, no. I've got more. So much more. It's a new world I see. A new world for me. This is a story of a little girl searching, searching, searching. For she knows somewhere is a someone Who's this someone for her? This is a story. You want to have bells you that'll have ring. Bells you want to have ring. songs that'll have sing. Songs that'll you want your sky of baby, baby blue. blue. You got to have me go with you. For it started many years ago. When I was born in a trunk in the princess. 